Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? That is mine. Is mine? So is it not Dr. Manhattan? what's going on so today is a very exciting day we are watching episodes three and four of hbo's watchmen i'm so so excited guys it's been a week since i watched episodes one and two i meant to watch episodes three and four the day after i filmed episode episodes one and two but that didn't happen and now it's a week later so i'm so excited to be watching these episodes right now i'm so excited and happy that i am continuing with the show so without further ado let's just get into it everyone let's just get right on into it i'm just so thrilled by this show and it feels like the first two episodes that i watched were like some sort of weird dream because it was a week ago and I just I'm ready for more let's continue I'm excited it's real I'm excited it was not a dream <laughs> okay yes previously on I kind of need this a little bit after the past week oh right the aliens <laughs> is it aliens I genuinely can't tell I don't think it's aliens it's probably something more superhero related but like gave me big alien vibes also this whole thing with the master in the castle and like all of the all of his like servants and all of them looking the same it's like is he clone he's cloning people is that what is that what's happening crazy crazy Ooh. oh i love this oh that was cute oh my god wait what is this Stand by for connection to Mars and Mars. Dr. Manhattan. <gasps> Dr. Manhattan. Oh yeah, he's on Mars. Are we going to see Dr. Manhattan this episode? Uh, and then Are we supposed to know who this is? Is this someone from the movie like older or something that I or maybe not even older just someone from the movie? Oh, oh, what was that? <gasps> Ooh, Batman? <laughs> Okay, that guy's getup looks somewhat similar to Batman. But this bank was about to be robbed. Of course, you wouldn't know you were being set up. Otherwise, you wouldn't walk right into their trap, right? Oh, how dare they? He's just trying to do the right thing. Hello. Hello. What you doing? There she goes. Back to the show. <gasps> it's an owl. Chief of police got hung. Hanged. You knew him? A little. <laughs> okay, fun fact, fun fact. So I learned somewhere, some at some point in middle school or high school, that the actual correct grammatical use when you're talking about someone who has been, you know, like hanged from a rope, is you don't say hung you actually do say hanged in that situation, unlike any other situation where you'd be using the like past tense version of hang. Like, I hung that on the wall, that's correct, but that guy was hanged is actually correct, you know? And so it's so funny. I'll watch so many movies or TV shows where they'll still use the incorrect version. They'll say hung, and every time I'll say to my computer screen, I'll say to my TV, it's hanged. I'm really proud to see, I'm really happy to see that she just did the same thing. I've never actually heard anyone confirm that grammatical rule since I was taught it. I don't even know who told me about it, but I've never, no one's ever like in my life or in some sort of media, no one's ever like spoken about that weird grammatical rule before, so that was very validating. Thank you. Thank you. Is that Dr. Manhattan? Sorry, owl guy. Your heart's in the right place, but you're just too soft. 
that snaps his fingers. Her jokes are so elaborate. Are these people from the movie? Is she in the movie? Is this all stuff in the movie that I just don't remember? When you and your ex were in DC. And by ex, I mean Dr. Manhattan. Okay. So a young version of her was in the movie, right? And I'm just blanking on who she was because the only character I remember in the Watchmen movie is Dr. Manhattan. Please don't touch What does touch this it. thing do? It's complicated. I love her. She's so funny. Hero number three is pretty much a god himself. So for the sake of telling them apart, he's blue. Dr. Manhattan. And he likes to stroll around with his dick hanging out. Dr. Manhattan. I knew this story was about the characters from the movie. She's tied to the movie. I just know it. My pager's on there, so please feel free to give me a buzz. Do people still use um, pagers? Like, this is set in modern day. Why would they be- I don't- I don't- I've never heard of people still using pagers nowadays. Is that something that's done in the FBI and, like, in the police force? I feel like no. Is- I guess this could just be something specific to this world, maybe. Oh no. Are they planning on, like, ambushing this funeral right now? This is not good. This is not good. Oh god, I'm- I'm like- is he gonna bomb the place? I feel like I'm getting this, like, bomb inclination. How did I call that? I like was thinking when they were showing him climbing in the tunnel or like crawling through the tunnel, I was like, he's gonna bomb the funeral. I don't know why that's the inclination I got. He could have done anything. He could have come up with a gun. He could have come up with anything. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I was not anticipating the suicide bomber aspect of it. I didn't go that far. I was thinking he'd maybe just leave it there and run off or something. But, oh, this is not good. Oh, God. Oh, my, oh my God. How is this going to work? Nobody fucking move! This device is connected to my heart, so if it stops beating, you're all fucking dead! Oh. Oh, okay, so he's not just gonna set it off and be done with it. This is a warning. This is a threat. Do not attempt to fuck. <laughs> She had another gun on her. Somehow I knew that. Oh wait! Oh, but his heart! Oh no! What did she do that for? What did she do that for? Girl, move! No, 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 no! Go away! Just, just go! You are not doing anything good. Oh, in a hole! In the hole! Oh, okay, smart! Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Okay, that was smart, I guess. Lessened the impact somewhat. Well, that went better than expected. That went better than it could have in a lot of ways. Did y'all hear that ticking in the background of this song? They, did they add like some ticking to this? Or is there ticking just kind of already in the song? I just, there's a lot of ticking references and just ticking everywhere. And I like how they're subtly putting it in this song as well. It's gonna be a lot. Well, what is he doing now? Is he done with that whole play thing? And he's now moving on to putting his clone servants into night gear? Oh, why is there a tube going into his helmet? This guy just loves, like, experimenting on random things using his clone servants. Hello? What did he do? What What's wrong here? Did he, like... Oh, what's the word? He looks like frozen. Did he freeze him? I can't think of what the correct terminology would be for this. Okay, not the not the result he was looking for. What was he looking for? This is such a good song. I don't remember which song this is, but out of all the classical music, it is one of my favorites. So dramatic. Such an extra song. We love it. Hello? And who are you? You're interrupting his hunt. Oh, and they're there to wish him another random celebration. Why do they celebrate him every day? What's with that? It's like he's trying to create his own weird Groundhog Day, but like everything else about the day is different, it seems like. It's just that that's the same. We agreed upon the terms of your captivity. Your recent behavior suggests an intention to violate those terms. Captivity? Is he forced to stay here? Your humble servant, the game warden. The game warden? 
Who is that? Saddle up, Bucephalus. Bucephalus, I love I his horse's again. name. I hunt again at midnight. That's awfully dark to be hunting. You won't be able to see. Oh my god, this outfit? Very superhero-esque. Who is this? Is this him? Oh. Was he in the in the Watchmen movie? It was a wheelchair. I mean, I get how you guys missed it. You know, he was your chief. She's on to something. Hey, did you know that he had a secret compartment in his closet? What? Yeah, I was over there talking to his wife. And while I was there, I found the secret fucking compartment. Isn't that insane? She's so good at her job. But here's the thing about me, Sister Knight. I eat good guys for breakfast. Oh my god, I love her. She's so good. So she dated Dr. Manhattan. Or she was maybe married to Dr. Manhattan. I don't- Dr. Manhattan went to the Mars in the Watchmen movie. Right? I need to rewatch the Watchmen movie. Your message will reach Mars in approximately 40 seconds. So will she get- And thank you for contacting Dr. Will she get a message back from him? I'm kind of heartbroken now. Like, are we gonna- are we gonna see her be able to be reunited with Dr. Manhattan? Oh my god, that's so sad. <laughs> that's so sad. Like, I don't know if they'd bring Dr. Manhattan back, because would they use the same actor who played him in the movie? That was, like, over ten years ago. But, like, I don't know also. It's like, are they really counting on people who've seen the movie to, like, be expecting it to be the same actor as the movie? <gasps> oh my god. Car. Hello. What was that? It Was that Dr. Manhattan's gift back? Here's a car. I know you miss me. Oh my god, is that Mars? Did he liter- Did he literally throw a car down there? Was that his brick? Since her, her, about her whole story about the brick, was that his brick? I don't see how that's a very nice gift. That could have totally killed her. I don't think he wants to kill her. I don't think she wants to be killed. Is she laughing because she's like, oh my god, Dr. Manhattan acknowledged me? for the first time or something after who knows how many times calling in the blue phone booth? What? Okay. Do I need to Google some things about her character or will that, or will that spoil me? Like, am I expected right now to know who she is or are they gonna reveal more stuff? I think we're supposed to know. So I'm gonna Google stuff and I hope I don't get spoiled. Okay, so her character's name is Laurie Blake. Was there a Laurie Blake in, in- I'm trying to do this in a way that won't spoil me to what happens to her character in the show. So I'm gonna look at the movie and see if there's a character named Laurie Blake played by like some younger girl. Cause she had 30 years ago, so she'd be in probably her 20s. That would make sense. Oh, oh, okay, Laurie Jupiter. There's a Laurie Jupiter. Silk Spectre. Oh, okay, wait, I remember, yeah, so, okay, so Lori Jupiter is the daughter of Sally Jupiter, who was played by Carla Gugino, who I love that actress, I just can never pronounce her last name, but, okay, so why is her name Lori Jupiter here, and Lori, oh, probably, no, I was about to say she maybe got married, and that's why she's now Lori Blake, but she didn't seem married there. She doesn't seem married in this. I'm gonna Google something and I'm gonna hope I don't get spoiled. Okay, Watchmen's Lori Blake explained. Watchmen's third episode. Okay, so I think this article I'm about to read, this Vox article came out after the third episode, so there surely shouldn't be any spoilers. Here we go. Okay, yeah, so Lori Blake is Lori Jupiter, AKA Silk Spectre 2. Got, figured that out. But why is her name now Blake and not Jupiter? Okay, we're going into some comic book stuff. I have not read the comics. So whenever the the other FBI agent in this one, he was like referencing how he like knew about stuff that happened 33 years ago, I thought he was referencing the movie. He was actually referencing comic book ev ev events from the comic story. Oh, okay, here it is. So spoiler to the Watchmen comic if you care about that. I'll probably read the Watchmen comic at some point, but I really do not care about this, spo this spoiler, but ba basically, Lori in the comics finds out she's really another character named Eddie Blake's daughter, born from the consensual relationship between Blake and her mom, Sally. So I guess her name was Jupiter, but then technically it's 
Blake in a sense in terms of her dad is Eddie Blake. And they just went with that for the show for some reason instead of her still going by uh, Laurie Jupiter. Okay, the first big change to Laurie in the HBO Watchmen series is the character is now going by Laurie Blake. She's taken on the name of her father, a man she thought of as human scum at the beginning of the graphic novel, but who later turned out to be her own dad. She also followed in his footsteps, sort of, like her dad, she's now working with the FBI, has a role that seems to come with a lot of power, blah blah blah. Okay, here we go. So here's an explanation kind of of the end, I guess. So... Throughout the episode, Laurie is sending a message to Dr. Manhattan via a Martian telephone call. She recounts a joke or more of a parable about God sending superheroes to hell. To Watchmen readers, it's clear that this is based on a true story. This, yeah, I thought so. The superheroes that she was referencing, it se they felt real. I, I feel like I remember like an owl superhero from the movie and stuff like that. The superheroes in question are stand-ins for Night Owl, Dr. Manhattan, and the power-mad Adrian Veidt, a.k.a. Oz Mandius. Ozymandias, okay. Okay, so this article goes on about the story she tells, but does not go on then about the car that falls from the sky. Vox, why did you not talk about that big bombshell at the end? Did Dr. Manhattan send the car? Because <laughs> it panned up and it showed Mars and then it showed her laughing. There was nothing else in the sky to send that car. Who sent the car? <laughs> Oh my god, I swear by the end of this series we actually get Dr. Manhattan back. I don't know why when I first started the series I was not really not necessarily not caring about Dr. Manhattan or anything about the movie But I wasn't Not not caring about it And so now all of a sudden now that we have this tie to someone who was in a relationship with Dr. Manhattan And you can clearly tell that she still misses him and still has feelings for him I'm to tear like hey, I want a reunion. I want him to come back and Come back and be a part of the story somehow and it's like I don't know would they use Billy Crudup from the movie? I don't know It was just a lot of blue paint slash CGI and stuff so that technically maybe they could I don't know let's let's continue let's go on let's go on into episode four maybe we'll get some answers as to who took the old man will up into space if it was aliens or if it was some sort of superhero-esque people or who whatever that was and then we may get an answer to who threw the car down at Laurie I feel like we maybe won't know that, like, if it was Dr. Manhattan, that may not be revealed for a minute, because I feel like that's gonna- if- if he actually does have some appearance or some sort of something, I think it'd be something that'd be more of a bigger reveal near the end, but I don't know. Let's continue in episode four. Now this guy, I just don't know. I don't think he was in the movie, from what I remember, but I definitely really want to rewatch the movie now, just now that I have a little bit more, like, insight into the world. I want to see. I also want to read the comic. Also, it looked like the car that was rained down on Laurie, it looked kind of like the same car that Will was picked up in. Was he taken out of the car and then they just disposed of the car afterwards and it wasn't Dr. Manhattan after all? Because I personally wanted to be Dr. Manhattan. Maybe Dr. Manhattan is the one who took Will, but he's on Mars. But you never know, maybe he, he, he could not be on Mars. He could be actually doing some stuff in space, like, you know, in that weird thing that, that weird, uh, ship thing that took Will in the car. Maybe that was him. And then, I don't know. I'm going in somewhat circles right now. Let's just watch and hopefully we'll get some answers. Aww. Oh no, her eggs! Oh, I feel so bad. I was just about to say that I felt bad that no one bought her eggs. Now I feel even more bad. Oh, I felt so bad there. That was so sad. <laughs> I feel so bad about those eggs. That was a lot of hard work because, like, if she had chickens hatch those eggs, that's a lot of eggs. Hi. Who is this? You're Lady True. Lady True, I know that name. I sure am. Or True. From the last episode, that was a word that was said. That is quite the hourglass. Are those like elephants on the sides? How interesting looking. I want your house right now. Oh, she just lost all those eggs and now yeah. she's wanting it's to take house. their house? I want it. Why? But you did not get pregnant because when they harvested your eggs, Mrs. Clark, you were told they were non-viable. Know what I say to that? I say bullshit. 
So she'll help them get pregnant if she get, if they give their house and their land. I'm here to offer you a child. Honestly, though, you're a trillionaire. You could give some money, too. She could help out with a child. And you could give, like, four million dollars. You're a trillionaire. You can spare four million dollars. I'm not going to make you a baby. I already did. Oh, that was fast. Well, come on, show us the baby. Oh, is that who's at the door? Oh, there's a baby. And he is yours, biologically. Wow. I've placed $5 million in an account that should cover your relocation costs and, you know, baby food. Okay, so she technically did give some money too. $5 million, I was saying four. She went up another million. 10 seconds or I'll have no other choice but to destroy the baby. God. Guys, I'm joking. I'll find a loving home for him. Okay. What's going on? Is Dr. Manhattan coming down from Mars? Wait, actually, could it be? Is this Dr. Manhattan coming back? That is mine. Is mine? So is it not Dr. Manhattan? I'm just anxiously awaiting Dr. Manhattan now. Like, I just want him to come back. He was my favorite part, I remember, of the movie just because he was so interesting as a character. And then he went up to Mars and I was like, so I would just be thrilled if he came back into the fold. Kind of reminds me of Vision in Marvel. It's been a minute since I've seen uh, the Watchmen movie, so I don't exactly remember his personality per se or whatever, but like, just kind of, you know, the him being blue, Vision being like red, both of them not really being human. I mean, not even not really, they're not human. Vision's a robot, Dr. Manhattan is what? I don't know, I saw something about how he omits radiation, so something technological, right? I don't know, I prefer Vision just personality wise, but also I don't remember Dr. Manhattan's personality, so, but also both of them in a relationship with a human or human figure, even though Wanda has superpowers, but you know, she's still technically human, I guess. Her outfit is so cool. Proceed there to plant your acorn. Oh wow! She gets to see her family tree with through a literal acorn? Oh, that's cool. I love that. So it's like in a virtual tree. It's not like an actual tree, obviously. That would take years to grow. Oh? Oh, it's the car! It's the car, so this is where she was when that whole event with the car was happening. Okay. Okay, so now we're back to this. Good, I wanna see the aftermath of this. This is your car? It's her car, yeah. so it's the car that Will was taken in. I grabbed my camera and hustled on up there before any could dissolve. So he's documenting the squid rain? Down on us from another dimension, probably just as confused as we are. They're from another dimension? Hello? Hello? Who are you? What? My point exactly. Oh my god! Well that was quite an escape plan. Agent Blake's parents were the comedian and Silk Spectre. <gasps> they just revealed it. They just, they just revealed the thing that was in that article about how her dad was really Eddie Blake, the comedian. Oh my god, I did not expect them to go that far with her backstory in the show for some reason. How cool. Traditionally, my mother relegates interactions with the authorities to underlings, but in this case, she'd like to invite you to have tea in her vivarium. Okay, so it's seeming like the trillionaire lady, she's the one who took William away and took the car and then dropped it back. Not anything to do with Dr. Manhattan, it seems. Even though they made a point of showing the showing Mars, though, still. So, you know, hope isn't lost that we may see him at some point in the show. <gasps> oh, oh, wait. Grandfather? Is she also... Her, his granddaughter? Is that Adrian Vide? Indeed it is. Adrian Vide. 
That's one of the Minutemen guys. Why'd you have them make him so old? Because he is old. In my culture, our elders are revered. Wait a minute. Is the old man who's making the clones, is that him? Is that Adrian Vide? Yeah. That's totally him. Oh my god. Was that a baby? Or something resembling a weird baby? Wait, what was that? What did you just throw? Wait, there's more of them. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Why does he have a cage full of babies? And why was he throwing them back in the lake? Is this where he's getting his clones from? Are they all at first babies and then he puts them in this machine and ages them up? These babies do not look healthy. These are not normal babies. They have unusually very large heads. I don't think they're all the way human. Oh my god. His aspect of the story just keeps getting weirder and weirder with every episode. Oh my god, the poor babies. Oh my god. What is going- is he- are they gonna age? Are they gonna age into a new- of the- the- the guy and the girl's servant? Oh my god, I do not like hearing those babies cry right now. They- this is terrible. This is terrible. That sound- they- oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, I- I may need this. Oh my god. Oh my god, the machine is like smoking. What- what is he doing? I'm like genuinely very- okay, yep, I called it, yep. Yep, he aged them. So that's how he gets his new servants, is they're really weird, innocent little babies who are growing in the lake. Now, is he growing them there? Like, how are they spawning? How are they coming to be? How are there so many of them? Why was he so picky in them that he decided to throw two of them back in the lake? What was that? Are they even really clones? Like, I guess they, they kind of are, in a sense, because they all look the same. A few hours away from gaining the ability to speak. So yeah, this is his creation. How did he just get there to be so many of the babies, and why are they all habitating in the lake? What a strange story. This is so strange, and I'm here for it, but it's just so strange. Oh my god. What happened? Why are they all dead? Did he do that? He doesn't seem very shocked by it. I had a rough night. Oh, yeah, he did do it. So that's why he had to go and then create more because he literally killed all the ones he had. Well, that would be alarming if I were them to see all that. Like, how is it for them? How is it for all of these creations seeing them all look exactly like themselves? Like, does that confuse them? Or is there something wired into their brain to make them not get bothered by that knowledge that, oh my god, all these people that are dead around me all look exactly like me. Did he just send them to Mars? Did he just send them to Dr. Manhattan? Is Manhattan- is Dr. Manhattan getting a bunch of dead clones from this guy? Oh, oh, that's the moon. Okay. <laughs> I keep thinking we're gonna go to Mars or we're gonna see something with Dr. Manhattan and then we just don't. It, it just panned out and made it look like the moon. Okay. Or like, it, it went from a shot of the sky through the eye of the telescope to then the moon. That's what I was meaning to say and it just turned into kind of nonsense, but okay. Oh? Who are you? Who is this? Is this the girl who was like in the beret before? Oh, I, I think it is. It was the girl who was in the beret, but why was she inject- or like, not- why was she like hooked up to a- to a thing? Well, Okay, yeah, it is that girl. I was in a village. Men came and burned it, and then they made us walk. I was walking for so long. Mom, my feet still hurt. Wow. It's a very powerful dream. You can feel it after you wake up. Good. Good? What? 
my feet are just fine. Oh my god, wait, I just totally realized he just got up from his wheelchair. Did not even register that for a couple seconds. Oh my god. You know, somehow I, I kind of was thinking about that. I was thinking, he probably doesn't even need that wheelchair. That's how he, he killed the chief of police. He does not need to be in that wheelchair. I, I knew it. The betrayed her. And in three days, she'll know what I have done. And she'll hate me for it. What? What did you do? With I am in. In to what? All the way. What are you in? What is going on? What is going on? Now you always say. Okay. Okay. That was episodes four and five. Uh, do I have any theories as to what could be going on? Honest answer, no. Um, I want Dr. Manhattan to show up just because I want to see some more sort of type of rev resolution between him and Laurie. I think she deserves that. She was crying over him and I, that really makes me sad. And I just want to, I want to see him come back and see her again. I just would love that, you know? I can't tell if Will and Lady True, I think it was her name, I can't tell if they are like the good guys or if they're the bad guys. I can't really tell what's going on with their story storyline that much and it's just, I don't know, I'm just really curious as to what they are up to, what's going on. And the guy, I forgot his name, I think Adrian something, the guy who's in the castle with all the servant clones, that was crazy. With like the babies in the lake, did not expect that. I didn't think his storyline could get any weirder and it did. So good job whoever wrote that because you have succeeded in confusing me very, very much. I'm also kind of surprised how very much this is like not superhero y. It's like just way more like a mystery, like a mystery crime drama in a way, if I had to put it into some genres. There's not much superhero stuff, which I don't know. I, I thought I just expected that because from what I remember, there was like superhero stuff in the Watchmen movie. So from, from what I remember, I don't know, but it's like no one from what I've seen has any like power. Like I think the mirror guy does. I can't remember his name. Looking Glass. That's his name. I, f I feel like he has some sort of power. I just can't really figure out what it is because he just wears that, he wears that mask and he brings people into the, like, that room with all the um, screens and stuff like that. So I don't know how much of a power, a superpower he has in that. And then there the, there's like the couple of others who are in like superhero-esque suits or whatever, or like weird, like the one in the red suit, I can't remember his name, but like, there's them, but they haven't shown any sign of any superhero powers. So, I don't I don't know. I'm loving this though. I'm absolutely loving it. I am so excited to continue on. We have like 5 episodes left. We're like halfway through the sh through the show. I'm excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, be sure to turn on the, or click on the little notification bell so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. Also, be sure to follow me on social media. My Instagram is at Rachel Remini. My Twitter is at Rachel underscore Remini. And my letterbox is just my name, Rachel Remini. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye! Dog no.